So um, if you've gotten your eight turtles onto the screen, you should have some code that looks very similar to this, where we have um, all of these commands for our first turtle, where you create them, you set their shape, their color, you pen up, you move to the right location, and then you pen down. Um, and then you repeat that for the second turtle, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth turtle. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see it draws the two lines using the functions creates our turtles and places them in the right spot and uh, these guys are not placed in the right location but I was gonna save that for after we finish this activity because I'm gonna show you guys a trick on how we can use something called an array to work with our turtles it will make our lives easier okay? and so what is an array well an array is a set of variables and so I guess Pixlr I guess the easy way for me to show you is by drawing you a picture. Um, so let me do this, get a brush. And so, ooh, that brush is too big, but it's okay. Um, okay, so an, a, a variable we could think of as a box, right? And we give that variable a name like x, and we put a value in it like the value 1. But an array is different because an array is a set of variables that are all connected to each other. Okay, so let me get rid of that. And the way it works is like this. Okay. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, and five variables that are all connected to each other. And if we call this array x, then this first location would be x sub zero because computer scientists always count starting with the number zero. Then this next one would be one, the next one would be two, the next one would be three, and the last one would be x sub four. Okay, and so let's assume I put the word, I don't know, maybe s, i, d, e, l, sedel. I'm not sure what that is, but those are the letters that came out, right? So um, inside of our array, so how would I access the S? Right? Well, the way you would do it is, is you would say the name of the array, put these two brackets, and the number of the element in the array. We call it an index. So this is what a long way to access this first element, which has the value of S. If we wanted to access this one, it would be X sub 1. Right? There'd be a 1 here. We say sub when we're talking about arrays. x sub 2 would get you the d. x sub 3 would get you the e. And x sub 4 would get you the l. And so arrays are um, a very useful tool. And you'll see why they're useful in this assignment here. Right? So instead of creating our turtles this way, right, we're going to create our turtles using a for loop. So we're going to say for i in range 8, right? so this for loop is going to iterate 8 times. We are going to do this. Okay, And so we're going to go ahead and take the t and put the i in the sub area. And we're able to use our for loop to scroll through and create an array that's filled with different colored turtles. right? So let me go ahead and delete this stuff here. Um, so let me walk you through how this works. Right. So we have our four, ver four uh, loop and we have our iterator i. The first time into the for loop i is equal to zero. So we create an array t sub zero and we set it equal to a turtle, shape with turtle, uh, color purple, and pen up. Okay. Then we come back into our for loop and i is now equal to 1. So we create a t sub 1 and so the second element in this array t is equal to the next turtle and we set its shape, color, and pen up status. Okay. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to do is we need to make this array. So we say um, t equals that. Right? And so let me go ahead and do that. And maybe we could change this one to be a different name. We could say like starting turtle, right? starting T, because 
we are using T to make our array, right? and it's better to not have uh, the same names. So uh, these guys here would need to be starting turtles also, right? Starting underscore T that draw the starting and finish line. Okay, so now we're good to go, and let me see if this runs. Okay, draw a starting and finish line, and then it breaks. So why? Well, it says that it's out of range. Well, I guess I need to put here an 8 in there, right? And so let's go ahead. Let me do times 8. Okay, so that did it for us. So this line here is a shortcut way of creating an array where we're an initializing them all, we're making eight spaces in the array. So this is making an array with um, eight called t with eight indexes from zero to seven. Okay, and now this for loop here is filling all of the elements in the array, the t sub zero, the t sub one, the t sub two, the t sub three, all with a different turtle. Um, okay, so we are creating our turtles and but we're still missing a couple of steps we still need to go to right so let's do t sub i dot go to and we'll go to an x comma y right? the x position and the y position and we will do t sub i dot pen down okay um, but here, this is going to be the cool thing, is we're going to use a variable for the x position and the y position. And so let's make those variables right here. We'll say x is equal to some number and y is equal to some number. Well, what's the x going to be equal to for all of these turtles? Where do they need to go to? They need to go to negative 270, right? So just behind the starting line. And what about the y position? Well, we only want the y position of the first turtle, right? The one at the very top. So we're setting that to 250. And so when we come in here to the for loop, it's going to go to that x at negative 270. And then it's going to go to the y up in the top left corner at a positive 250. And then we're going to pen down. But when we come back in, we need to change the value of our y. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say y equals y minus 62. Okay. So before coming back into the for loop, we're going to change the value of y to be lower, and then it's going to place that next turtle lower. And then I'll do the a calculation again, and the third turtle will be even lower, and the fourth turtle will be even lower, and so on. So let me go ahead and run that to show you how that looks. And you see, we can do all of that, those lines of code using a loop. And, uh, and only write the instructions once instead of eight times. Right? So loops are very helpful, uh, but you can see that they're all out of sync, right? They should be lower. And so that's easy to fix when we have a loop that's cr creating our turtles, because all we need to do is adjust our initial Y position to make it lower, right? So if I go ahead and change this to 30 instead of 250, then all my turtles are now going to be lower by 20 pixels. And so look, if you see here on the space on the top, it's a little bit smaller than the space at the bottom. So I'm going to change this to 45, 245. And let's see if that looks good. Oh, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. Actually, this should be 230 minus 15. So this should be ooh, 215. OK, so let's go ahead and try that. Ooh, I think this is going to be perfect. All right, so that looks perfect. Um, and so I guess we'll just stop the video here. And um, maybe a challenge exercise would be how to use an array to set the colors to all be different, right? As you're scrolling through your for loop.